Hello and welcome to our final devotion for this uh, Friday. Hope that you're looking forward to a great weekend and we hope to see you in church. Today, the verse that I have for you is uh, really simple, short, and uh, sweet from John chapter 15, verse 13. Greater love has no one than this, than one lay down his life for his friends. So what are your plans this weekend? Uh, if I think about it, I have a graduation party to be able to go to today. Uh, I have a wedding that's going on at our church tomorrow. Of course, we have church on Sunday. And then on Monday, I'm not quite sure yet, probably have a barbecue at my in-law's house or something like that. Most of your weekends probably look fairly similar. You probably spend some time with friends. Uh, maybe you'll find a sale that's going on in town. You need to get a new washer and dryer or a new mattress. Uh, we have this long weekend, a Memorial Day weekend. But I would encourage you and challenge myself at the same time that over the course of these next few days that we would take just a couple of moments at least to be able to remember what we're truly celebrating during this time. Of all the people over many, many years that have given so much for you and for me to be able to do all of these things uh, and to do the really important things, to be able to worship, to be able to talk to people about Jesus freely, to be able to express what it means to be a Christian and so much more. Uh, we come to this time of Memorial Day weekend and of Monday of Memorial Day to be able to remember all of those who gave and paid the ultimate price, ultimately with their life. And today, as we remember each and every one of those individuals and celebrate who they are, we remember also the one who gave his life for us and didn't need to by any means as well our one and only Savior, Jesus Christ. So hear that verse again, uh, just one more time today. Super simple, John 15, verse 13. Greater love has no one than this, than one lay down his life for his friends. Well, you and I and everyone in this world are friends of our Lord and Savior, Jesus, the one who laid down his life so that you and I could be able to have freedom not only here on this earth, but freedom in a life that is yet to come. Freedom in a life that is eternal, free from pain, free from sorrow, free from stress, free from anxiety, free from breakups, you name it. All of those things are washed away because of what our Savior did for us. Let's pray. Dear Lord, today uh, we offer just a special prayer of thanksgiving for all of those who have served so dearly for our country and have given their lives. Lord, we also lift up all of their families that are here on this earth that are still remaining, uh, that their loss uh, must be so tremendous upon their hearts that you will continue to give them comfort, uh, give them peace. And Lord, again, we just praise you for Jesus and what he has done for us to be able to give us this great freedom from sin, from death, from the devil, and to be able to share that with others. In his name we do pray today. Amen. Again, blessings upon your Memorial Day weekend, and make sure you take, again, at least a moment to be able to recognize and remember all of those who have gone on before us.